Hey guys, so today we're going to go through coordinate geometry where we're going to discuss lines that are parallel to the axes. Now the previous knowledge that you need to know in order to do this is you need to have a good understanding of Cartesian planes and how they work. You need to know what parallel lines are and you need to know how to complete a table of values. So let's quickly go through what are parallel lines. So in geometry, we refer to parallel lines as lines that will never meet. They'll keep going until infinity and they'll never meet. And the distance between the lines will always remain the same. So with some examples of those I've shown you here. So the first two you'll see are parallel lines that run horizontal. Then you have two vertical parallel lines and then you have two parallel lines here that run just diagonally now the way we show if two lines are parallel is we use the arrows that you can see there the blue arrows that i have on each of those lines that means that lines are parallel because obviously we can't draw it exactly to scale so we indicate that they are parallel in that way so let's go to the cartesian plane and let's look at that first now basics of Cartesian plane, you have a y-axis, which I've highlighted there, and you also have an x-axis, which I've highlighted there. Now, the x-axis is horizontal, while the, y, while the y-axis is vertical. So let's have a look at these colored lines I have here. Now, the blue line here, no matter what y is going to equal, x will always equal 2. So we can label this blue one as x equals 2 as its uh, equation. If I created a table of values for that, for example, if I put um, x, y for that one there, the only x values I can ever have are two, 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 but the y values will change. As x is two here, y is zero. X, as x is two here, y is one. As x is two here, y is three, and so on and so forth. So always x will remain 2. Now we say that this line is parallel to the y-axis. This blue line here is parallel to the y-axis because as you'll see this goes straight, it's parallel to the y-axis there. And so we say that that blue line there, x equals 2, is parallel to the y-axis. Now let's go to the orange line. The orange line is also parallel to the y-axis, but what is its equation here? No matter what y is, x is always going to equal negative 4. So we say the equation of that line is x equals negative 4. Let's have a look at the red line. The red line is um, different to the blue and the yellow because the red line is parallel to, let me use a highlighter, the red line is parallel to the x-axis. So before the blue and the yellow line were parallel to the y-axis, but now the red line is parallel to the x-axis and we can say that the equation of this is no matter what x is y will always equal negative 3. That's the basics of parallel lines on Cartesian plane. If you have any further questions please don't hesitate to ask.